that leaf right there, and that one right there, and that one there, and we see it right there on the Granddaddy Perps. And we don't see it as bad on our Bruce Banner. And watching all our old videos of this growth, we can tell it came from right here. It's debatable, and people call it many different things, and a lot of people say it's just a dirty grow room gone wrong. But when it spreads like this, I think it's a mosaic virus. And this is turning out a whole lot worse than I had expected. These leaves, though I didn't know it, and I've only heard about it in passing, these are showing signs of tobacco mosaic virus. You see these hooked little leaves here You can here see on the, the hooked ends. leaves on the ends, the mosaic colors. You can see these dark, thick pieces. You can feel the texture difference in the smaller stuff. And that is just classic. Peel some of this off. Doesn't really matter. Just gonna stunt the growth. It's uh really disappointing though. I mean look at this. I don't know if this camera is actually focusing on this or not, but drying out dying so had I known I'd have thrown this out it just uh, stunts the growth but it also spreads and it can spread on anything it can spread on scissors clothes your hands I mean it's a terrible disease and I thought I had my pest management over the top I, I thought I was doing a really good job but I didn't know so when I cracked this seed, it came out with a virus. So what we see is when we look at our other plants, see this Bruce Banner here. We're starting to see a little hook on the leaf. Starting to see some discoloration and that hook. I don't know if you can really see it. But you're getting the discoloration, you're getting the hook, discoloration, the textured leaf, that's a deeper, darker texture. So it's spreading around this tent. It's a virus. Now I spent all week trimming Pootie Tang that had tobacco mosaic. You can see it on the small leaves. You can see that it's spreading. You can see right here, you can see the hooking, you can see the discoloration. You can see it on these small leaves that are hidden. You can see it on the new growth, you can see it on the old growth. You can see it right here. It's starting to hook. These leaves are thickening up. The veins are getting light green. That's just all the textbook signs. And I had no idea. I'd never even heard of it before. There's that hook. Right there. Really light green veins. I don't know if we can see that. I mean, we're under a 2000K high pressure sodium bulb and uh, we're running the white balance. So that one's kind of a little more resistant to it, apparently. I mean, it's still hooking, it's still changing. It's not very good, but. So now that I'm putting this tripod in the tent, I'm going to have to uh, be really careful to wash it before I go into my Blue's Clues tent. Unfortunately, I've had the Star Killer in the Blue's Clues tent and in this tent. I mean, it vegged in there. Uh, and then we also had the recirculation where the humidified air was coming from that tent into this one. Luckily, it wasn't vice versa. Now, uh, this Granddaddy Perps, we're seeing some of the hooking. We're not seeing as much discoloration. We are, I mean, it's not exactly, I mean, maybe it's more resistant to it. That's one of the things that when you read about agricultural treatment, they talk about plants that are, you know, choosing plants that are more resistant. Can't see, fortunately. I'll have to get this on camera. 
This GDP is getting frosty. It's really, it's really doing well. Just, uh, just got tobacco mosaic virus. And the main, the main thing you can see on these is that really yellow, really yellow vein, which is one of the symptoms. Uh, a lot of people say that it's easy to confuse with a number of other things that deal with heat and humidity, but when you have it spreading like this, you have one plant that is clearly infected, you can pretty much count on it. You know, I mean, I, mean, I know it's all my fault for getting it. I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't watching out it's for the right It's going to take things. a hell of a lot of cleaning, and uh, hopefully I won't have a big problem with it spreading, and the next round of plants we put in here will not catch the mosaic virus. I mean, otherwise, I really thought that I was getting lucky <laughs> with bag seeds so far. I thought bag seeds were uh, much better than we'd heard, but I, I mean, especially looking back at the video, watching the way this grew, I mean, that's like classic tobacco mosaic. But it was not the metal halide that was keeping these short, it was the uh, tobacco mosaic. So what am I going to do about this? Pretty much nothing. I think I am going to actually put the star killer in a plastic bag and throw it in the dumpster. I don't really know what else to do with it. The rest of them, I'm just going to let them finish. There's no reason to kill them. They've got about 30 days left in flower. I mean, they're about a week past halfway. Well, the Pootie Tang and the Granddaddy Perps, the, the Bruce Banner's coming along a little bit more slowly. I think it was about a week behind the other two, maybe two weeks, but I'm, I'm probably just going to harvest it at the same time as the other two, about 30 days from now. And then once everything's harvested, we'll hit the room with an ozone generator to decontaminate and sanitize as much as possible, and then we'll come back through and clean, clean, clean with bleach. And I say that, but it seems that every time I make plans and announce them on YouTube, those plans get foiled in some way or another, so we'll see how it goes. But for now, I think the only course of action I'm actually going to take is keeping the camera and all my equipment out of the Blue's Clues tent, just let that finish up on its own, and uh, throwing away this star killer. That's definitely, in my opinion, that's definitely the source of the problem. Just because of the way that it grew, and because it's showing the most severe signs. So let's just keep track, watch what's going on, and we'll monitor the progress. So because this whole plant is exposed, and it's the worst looking, and I believe this is where the virus came from, take the whole thing. Put it in a trash bag. Bill. That sucks. I'm going to grab another trash bag and double bag this. Throw it in the dumpster.